The Trend Talk. Three sets, four sets, we're gonna work. Right. You know? As a teenager, Edward James Olmos was in a band. Name the name of the band. Oh, no man. cheating, Belle. I mean, that's a lot of pressure. And the fact yeah. that, like they say in Hollywood, a marriage, one year of marriage is like seven years in the real world. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I really admire your partnership because that's yeah. what it is. Visual effects got a lot of attention this year at the Oscars, thanks in part to Alfonso Cuaron's Gravity. He got the Visionary Award at the Visual Effects Society. The biggest musical acts got together over the weekend in LA's Staples Center at this year's Wango Tango. Jack Reacher is, is an extreme movie. What's the most extreme thing that you've done in your life? Hung off the side of an A400, that was pretty extreme. Are you going to have the Trejo Taco? And the so, Trejo what, Taco what is the with, the, taco with the salsa my mama made. <laughs> <laughs> On this episode of Hola LA. And then Naina goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with boxer Brandon Bam Bam Reels. Instructions not included is changing the way Hollywood sees Latino films. The key is that it wasn't in Spanish, it was in Spanglish. Spanglish. And that's what makes Thank it a you. game changer. And actually, Pantaleon Films loves the formula. Yeah. They're already ready to roll out some other fabulous Spanglish movies like Pulling Strings with uh, telenovela actor Jaime Camil. Years later, I interviewed Diana at a red carpet event as I was starting my award-winning career as a journalist. Coming up, we have an interview with another recognizable Latino actor who's starring in the new CBS hospital drama, Code Black. Obviously, this movie is about <laughs> novelas and the world of novelas. Why do you think the novela is such a big thing in the Latino culture? That's such a good question because it's been so big forever. Oh. Cap. Yeah. <laughs> Cap G. Cap G. <laughs> and a lot of the songs that you became known for talk about controversial issues, right? Like mm -hmm. La Policia, yeah. et cetera. So tell us what motivated you to start singing about those issues. As an artist, you need to express your feelings like whatever you're thinking. Thanks for talking to Fox News Latino. Yes. Most of your background is, is comedy or these animated wonderful films that you've been <laughs> voicing. This is a very much inspirational film. Was this intentional? Were you itching to do a film like this? You know, I've always felt um, close to the to the drama, even in the sitcom. Hola, Billy. Hola. ¿Cómo fue para ti regresar a este personaje después de casi 13 años? What was it like for you to return to this uh, character, this loved character, after almost 13 years? It's weird because I, my Spanish isn't good, and I thought you were going to say on a cloudy day there was an alligator in the stream. <laughs> My Spanish is bad. I know, it's very difficult to find the right bra. Remember that one bra we both love <laughs> that we shared? <laughs> yeah, I think I brought it in. How do you guys keep the love alive between you two? It's stressful at times. Yeah, yeah. You know, we, we, we have a working relationship too. Did you guys know that in Gravity, Sandra Bullock's body most of the time was computer generated because oh, her wow. face was her face, nice. obviously, but she was recorded in a green screen. A lot of people don't know that, but that's the power of the special effects. Oh, yeah. Wow. What about George Clooney's body? What happened to him? It's better than people. They need to. Oh, Gregor, no. Oh, yeah. 